Hi friends, my name is Caitlin and I'm so glad to be with you today. Did you know that we can show God how much we love Him when we worship Him together? It's true and we should worship God because God loves us. God loves me and the Bible teaches us that I will always love you. Jeremiah 31, three. God loves us always and He is always with us. Let's sing our worship song, You Are With Me Together. We have been having so much fun with this little red wagon, but today I have my favorite beach balls with me in our little wagon. This one is super cool because it's the whole world. Every time I throw it up and catch it, I can see different places I could visit around the world. Hmm, I wonder what kind of animals I could see. What animals do you wanna see? <laughs> wow, I could go to Antarctica and see the penguins. Can you waddle like a penguin? Wow, excellent waddling. I could go to Thailand and see elephants. Swing your elephant trunks with me. Oh, fantastic. Let's do one more. I could go to Costa Rica. Costa Rica and see sloths in the rainforest. Can you pretend to be a sloth and slowly climb a tree? Okay, my sloth friends, let's have a seat and listen to our Bible story. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm so happy to see you today. You know, I just love being a handyman. I can fix just about anything and I love that it helps my friends and neighbors. But as much as I love fixing things, I actually live for something more. Hmm. Let me explain with a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? 
Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. So, today's true story from the Bible begins with three people named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They loved God, and God loved them. But there was a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the greatest king, and everyone should know it. So, he built a giant golden statue. The king said, every time you hear music play, you have to bow down and worship my gold statue. Hold on, Th this wasn't right. God says you should only bow down and worship the one true God. Then the king said, and if you do not bow down and worship the statue, you will be thrown into a fiery furnace. <gasps> Everyone say, whoa. Ready? Whoa. Right? This was serious. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had a choice to make. Are they going to live for the king and do what the king says? Or are they going to live for God and do what God says? Hmm. What do you think they did? Yes, Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego chose to live for God and do what God said. They told the king that God had the power to save them. But even if he didn't, they wanted to live for God. So, the next time the music played and all the other people started bowing down to the statue, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego lived for God, and they did not bow and worship the king's statue. The king was so mad. Oh, show me your mad face. Arr, yes, that's it. Arr. The king was so mad that he had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego thrown into the fiery furnace. But when the king looked into the fire, he saw something amazing. There were four people walking around and the fire was not hurting them at all. Oh, help me count the people in the fire. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four people? Oh. God had sent an angel to keep Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego safe. When the king saw the four men walking around, he told Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the fire. And they did. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego chose to live for God. They knew that no matter what happened, God loved them. We can choose to live for God too, because God loves me, and God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. Bye. Wow, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego live for God every day, wherever they were, no matter what and God loved them and took care of them. God loves us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? <laughs> Good. Remember, you can live for God. Thanks for being such great listeners today. See you next time.